in Serbia we have a, a saying, it is, speak Serbian so the whole world can understand you. But I know the rule in this embassy we have to speak in English, so I will try to do it with my French accent. So it's a so-called French English. So, welcome here, Your Excellencies, dear Mr. Marit, Charge d'Affaires, dear representatives of the media, dear friends. Welcome to this embassy in the USA, welcome to Serbia, as this place still represents a piece of the Serbian land on the American ground. It, it is always a pleasure for me to be in the USA. I have been uh, three times in the Washington and four years ago I was also in Chicago where I spent Christmas, the Orthodox Christmas, with the Serbian community. As uh, the director of the newly formed Office for Public and Cultural Diplomacy, I would like to thank our diaspora for representing Serbia in the best possible light here in America. What they do is truly cultural diplomacy. The Serbian diaspora has always had an important role in this, and today we can enhance our presence through cultural events like the Serbian Film Festival, thanks to it. I am content that we are all engaged, socially or politically, in enhancing the current perception of Serbia and highlighting a decades-long friendship between the Serbian and American people. Since the establishment of the first diplomatic relations between the USA and Serbia back in 1882, we have come a long way. A long way from the symbolic friendship between a small country which had just gained its independence and freedom, and the other country, large and developed, but still distant. Although Serbia is a small country, it is rich. Rich in spirit, rich in history, and above all, rich in its people. Some of the greatest minds of all times, like the famous Nikola Tesla or Mikhailo Pupin, decided to develop their intellects here in America. And in return, America provided them with the condition necessary to contribute their knowledge to all, to all humanity. The pinnacle, the pinnacle of, the, of the relations between the two countries was marked by a mutual struggle during World War I on the side of justice and freedom. On July uh, 20, the 28th, 1918, the Serbian flag, I'm sure that many of, of you there knows it, know it, the Serbian flag fluttered on the White House and other public institutions across the USA. President of the USA at that time, Woodrow Wilson, stated in his address to the nation that, and listen carefully, it's a quote, the brave Serbian people were invited to defend their land and their homes from the enemy determined, determined to destroy them. End of the quote. The friendship between the American and Serbian people was confirmed again during World War II, when between 600 and 700 American soldiers were saved by the Serbs during the biggest, the biggest rescue operation of Allied force named Operation Halyard. And thank John for being too with, with us tonight. Current political leadership of Serbia, led by President Aleksandar Vucic, expresses its desire to highlight the bright moments of the American-Serbian friendship through an initiative to produce feature films based exactly on these heroic days from our past. However, changes in global trends and circumstances at the end of the 20th century unfortunately led to certain dark moments in the relationship between the two countries. Serbia is aware of different and sometimes opposing views with the USA on certain important political issues as the territorial integrity of Serbia and sovereignty over our administrative province of Kosovo and Metohija. Nevertheless, through mutual respect and understanding, we believe we can improve even more our economic but also political relations, which one day should be worthy of our good cooperation and friendship from our past. Thank you very much for your attention. You can now enjoy the cocktail.